So now in this video, we're gonna look at some ways a power supply limits current when need be and also short circuit protection, which is uh, pretty common with uh, power supplies. So you can see here I got this set button and uh, enter button here and I can change which one of these two I'm setting. So this isn't flashing, but right now if I hit uh, voltage current, that's A for uh, current right there, we can either look at the voltage it's outputting, I'm lighting an LED, or we can look at the current that's running through it. So this isn't as accurate as a multimeter, but it's probably within about a milliamp. So that's 12 milliamps right there. Now, uh, what we're gonna look at first, we go up here, now the uh, voltage is flashing. This is where we can change the voltage. I can go up a little bit, and uh, now we got 18 milliamps of current flowing. Uh, gonna go back down a little bit, because we're kind of pushing this circuit here. That's just a 220 ohm resistor protecting a red LED. We cover that in other circuits. But in any case, over here, I hit the, it's the voltage or current button right there. So I hit the button for current. We can go over, and uh, first, I'll just demonstrate. If I go down to 10 milliamps, now you can see it's uh, actually probably 10 milliamps, even though it says 11. And you can see right here, uh, CC, that's for constant current right there. I'm gonna hit the button up to 20, and now you can see constant voltage. So it's holding the voltage that we set right there. And uh, that's because we haven't reached the current max. We only got uh, 20 milliamps. And so I hit the uh, set button again, and we'll look at the voltage. Right now that's the voltage it's outputting, and then we will cut the uh, current again. And you can see it had to drop voltage to get 10 milliamps of current going through this circuit. That's what that means. So I'm going to uh, back up here and show you something else. So this is one of the ways I figure out that I did something wrong. So sometimes I'll be wiring up a circuit and uh, maybe I'm surprised that LED lit up, maybe I'm not. But in any case, I bypassed the resistor. The LED drops some voltage, but it does not limit current after that point. And you can see there that uh, it's the, the uh, power supply here that is limiting current. That's why it says CC, it's a constant current. It's holding that current steady because the circuit's trying to get more and that's what it's limiting to. And the way that it's doing so, you can see how low it dropped the voltage right there. So now I'm gonna do another thing here. I'm gonna take this jumper and maybe I misplaced it just uh, going down here. And now you can see there's uh, no voltage on the uh, power supply. It just turned off the output. You have to, with the uh, power button on here I should say, actually turns the output on. So there's the uh, power button and I have to uh, get that short circuit out of the way again. I'll put it up to the resistor and you can see that when I hit the button, now the output is on again. And the current that we're getting is the five volts across a 220 ohm resistor and an LED right there. So this has uh, current protection. Usually when I'm doing just simple LED circuits, I put 20 milliamps because that's about the maximum you wanna put through an LED. So that makes sure I don't get more than 20 milliamps of current. And I'd rather just stay at 20 milliamps of current if I short circuit it. I got to have both power supplies right there. But uh, the short circuit protection for this one is to just turn the output off. And if I try to turn it on now, it just keeps going off. And every once in a while I do have a short like this. And I'm, I'm like, why won't the output go on? And usually it doesn't take too long to realize why. So, in any case, Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm going to get rid of this short circuit and uh, make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting to the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate Patreon if you can or my other links. I have some new ones now actually. I almost forgot about. Check out the links down in the description. But in any case, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.